Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another random killer, random perk, random add-on, random offering, random everything video. Uh, we're going to be still mixing these in between the series that I'm doing right now. So we're still going to be doing these because I really enjoy doing them. Also, looks like the website got a neat little background. Was this here before? This isn't, I don't remember this. It's kind of neat. I like the little background that they got. Good job. Good job, man. I like it. We're decorating the place, you know? I dig it. Spicing it up. Anyway, um, if you guys have never seen this video before, this is just a site that gives us randomized everything. Uh, it also it also gives us this little win condition, but we ignore it every time because a lot of the time it's things that are just, like, this one is kind of insane. Or it'll do things that are just, like, way too, like, hard or not even fun. So we kind of just ignore win condition and we just do the build that it gives us. So let's hit the random all button and let's see what we get. Blow. The twins. Oh, interesting. The twins with whispers, unnerving, predator, and death bounds. Interesting. And our cut coin offering. And the add ons are I don't, I don't know these add ons yet. Soured milk, which increases Victor's shriek radius. And forest stew, which moderately increases Victor's move speed. Oh, so bigger move speed and bigger shriek. Okay. That's okay. I mean, this is, a, this is definitely a build. I guess let's go throw it together. Okay, so here's the build. Um, I don't really, this is kind of interesting because you know what? I'm really curious to see how Deathbound works. Um, screaming actually, I'm pretty sure, okay, when you're controlling Victor, you you can't see auras and you can't see, you can't see most things, but you can definitely hear screams. You won't get like the bubble. You won't get like the little activation bubble, but you'll hear, you'll, you'll hear the scream in the distance. I wonder if that'll actually be able to help me while I'm playing Victor. I'm not sure. Um, the rest of this is pretty awful. Unnerving Presence has got to be one of the worst perks in this killer because you lose your terror radius whenever you control Victor. So I feel like you spend a lot of your game with no terror radius. So that's really bad. Uh, Predator is, I mean, again, you don't even see scratch marks while controlling Victor. So that'll help me while controlling Charlotte. A lot of this is like, like both of these perks are basically only help you when you're controlling Charlotte. They don't help you with Victor at all. So this build kind of sucks. Sort of kind of sucks, but you know what? That's uh, what the hell you expect when you do random perks, you know? I think I think all things considered, I should just be happy that I got whispers. So let's queue up and see what we get. Okay, let's do this. This is going to be a very interesting, um, very interesting build, I think. Um, I haven't used Predator in a while, and I feel like Predator, the last time I used it, I was very disappointed with it. And <laughs> I'm curious if I'm going to feel that same way. Dude, I'm just so glad I have Whispers, honestly. Like, I just keep looking at the Whispers icon, and I'm like, thank God I at least have you. Although it didn't really do much. This guy is, like, making sparks and making a bunch of fucking loud-ass noise and goddamn flashing lights. So it's kind of, don't really need Whispers in that regard. All right, let's go. I feel like I have none of the perks that help me, you know? But then again, do I, do I really need perks? Um, hi, how are you doing? How are you doing? Also, you know what? How do you guys feel about twins, by the way? You know, how do you feel about twins, YouTube? I am kind of of the opinion that these guys are nuts. <laughs> They're kind of nuts. They're kind of crazy strong, to be honest. I feel like when I play Survivor, I either run into two types of Twins players. I either run into a Twins player that is very good and knows how to play Twins, and usually it ends up in us all getting slugged, and we usually end up being four-man slugged, and that's usually how the game ends, is, 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 is with all, us all getting four-man slugged and then dying. Or you run into those Twins players who are like, hmm, how can I creatively use this as a way to camp hooks? And then they like, they like park Charlotte at the top of the basement stairs or something, and then like run around with Victor and then anytime you try to unhook in the basement, they like come back and you know, come back to Charlotte and down the person. It's either people who try to creatively camp. Do I, do I want to call it creative? I don't know if I want to call it creative. It's either people who try to find ways to camp or it's people who are like actually good with the killer and then they just then and then just steamroll you. Keep in mind though, I basically exclusively solo queue, so like maybe maybe the steamrolling would be less steamrolly had I not been solo queue and like if I actually played like in groups. Ooh, the bounce landing. Aren't you fancy? Oh, well, you fancy, huh? Like, for instance, like, this is almost like a little way to camp, kind of. Wouldn't exactly call this camping, but this is kind of like sort of camping in, like, my own way, you know? I'm basically protecting the hook with Victor. That guy died, and now he's dead. He let go. He let go. He was like, man, this killer's camping. I'm fucking out of here, man. I'm out of here. Then he let go, and now he's dead, so... <laughs> hey, it works for me. But yeah, the twins are uh 
For, 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 from what I've gathered, it seems like they're pretty miserable to go against. Uh, it seems like most people are not enjoy are not enjoying themselves when they go against this killer. Seems to be the general consensus here. I'm gonna see if I can injure this Bill. If I can injure him and then get everybody injured, then it should just be Snowball City from there. Snowball City, population, me and these survivors, you know? That was a good fake he just did. He kind of looked like he was just like eyes forward, like he wasn't even looking at what I was doing, but I guess he was. I'm just gonna pretend to do it again, and then I'm gonna come back in. And hey, we got, we got a free pallet. Free God pallet, baby, I'll take it. Pog champ. Yo, deathbound value. Wait, where'd this bill go, right here? Am I dumb? I am dumb. Oh yeah, Predator. I was like, why was there no scratch marks? Cause Predator, I forgot I had it. The scratch marks are so tiny. Okay, the thing that sucks about Predator, and I might have already said this in a previous video, is that it makes like, in, if you're if you're in like an open spot like this, it's really good because you're like, oh, a direct path. But the second you start to hit grass, like if you start to run over grass, it just becomes awful. Because like what makes what makes it easy to track over grass is the fact that the scratch marks are spread so much. They go like on top of trees, you know, they kind of show up everywhere. And Predator makes that no longer a thing. Like with Predator, they don't show up everywhere. They just show up on the ground directly below. And when there's grass on the ground, what are you doing? That makes it very, very, very difficult. It becomes a very, very big pain in the ass to track people. Um, Kind of like this blood is a bit of a pain in the ass with all this grass around, you know? You know? Kind of the same concept. Dude, this guy just ran for the hills, dude. He was out of here. Wait, what? Hey man, chill, 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 chill. Ah! Ah! No! 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 I even took so long, and I still missed. Oh, hi, Claudette. <laughs> what are you up to, buddy? How are you doing, buddy? Did you even know I was there? I mean, dude, I could just keep slugging. This is why the twins is so powerful, dude. You could just—it's just slug city, dude. It's literally just slug city. You're just a slugging madman with these guys. Oh no, I'm stuck. I'm gonna die. Not like this. You just like, there's so much pressure all over the map all the time. Please don't power struggle me. Please, please don't do it. Don't do it to me. Ooh, I always get worried nowadays, dude. I always get scared. It's happened to me a few times, you know? There's been a few times where you get them fucking flip flopper power strugglers, you know? There they are, just sitting under pallet. You think they're up to no good, and they are up to no good. Hello, friend. Oh, I hear the bill. We can just end this game right now. We can end this game right now and get, and get to a different build that isn't so useless. Pog, dude. Let's go. We are speed running our way to the next build. Let's get it, baby. Well, I guess that's it for this one. So GG's. All right, boys. Let's have a look-see here. Let's have a look-see. I mean, pretty much what you'd expect. Low chaser because we killed them too quick. Plus, like, one dude killed himself on hook. So, like... You're, you're naturally gonna have a pretty low chaser and uh, you know, pretty decent blood points. Actually, pretty bad blood points for all of us, but hey, it's a 4K against sweaty tryhard uh, red rank. So uh, hey, random build equals OP confirmed. Let's do another one, let's go. All right, so let's see what we get for a second game here. Um, We're just gonna go right back to this and we're just gonna hit the random button again. So please no hag. Okay, perfect. The doctor. The doctor. Oh, we got one of those any perks too. Okay, so we got doctor with blood favor, make your choice, knockout, and then we have a slot where we can put any perk we want. That's really neat. I like that they have this because it's kind of cool. It lets me it lets me like kind of make my own decisions about what about what I want to do. And honestly, this build is not that bad. Considering doctor's an M1 killer, these are all M1 perks. Every single one of these is, is an M1 perk. Like, this is like an exposed perk, which works with M1 killers. This uh, knockout works when you down someone with a basic attack. Blood favor also only works on basic attacks. So this is actually kind of good, sort of. I mean, I wouldn't say good, but like for... And, and, and as far as random perks go, I would say it's pretty okay. Faint region, where we slightly thicken the mist. I mean, whatever. Oh, Eerie King and Brown Calm. I thought it was a, I thought it was like a purple calm, but still. Still, Calm and Eerie King, though. Interesting. Interesting. You want me to go hard with Doctor, apparently. Okay, uh, let's go throw it together. Okay, so here we are, boys. And the third slot, again, was the slot where we can put any perk. And looking at this build, and based around the fact that this entire build is based around M1s, I kind of thought about it for a second, and I think... I think this is like a... Per right? I think this build is actually perfect for... Save the best for last. Right? I think it's basically perfect for it. 
Like, Blood Favor definitely is more valuable, save the best for last, because if you can recover from the attack, then you can follow up, since there's no pallets anywhere nearby, so you can follow up again very quickly. Maker Choice helps a lot, because if the Obsession becomes one shot, then you can down them with only losing two stacks instead of four. Knockout can be good, because you can, if you down somebody and there's another survivor nearby and you want to slug them, you recover from the down faster, which means you can chase whoever the other person is quicker. I feel like save the best for last is quite literally perfect here i think it i think it kind of has synergy with every single one of these perks in its own unique way even if it's only a little bit even if the synergy is only slightly it definitely has at least a little bit of synergy so i think that's the perfect uh, the perfect perk to throw here we don't have any game slowdown though which is a little bit manka but you know let's just try it out i guess <laughs> i guess we can't know how it's gonna play until we play so let's go do it Thompson House. All right, let's do this. So this is going to be one of those things where I am unfortunately the type of person where I run the exact same add-ons on my killers all the time. And maybe maybe that's not like a type of person that people are familiar with because I feel like I'm, I can only be that type of person because of the amount of hours I have in this game. But I am that type of person regardless. And uh, I am used to running range add-ons on my shock basically all the time. And not even basically all the time. I'm, I mean literally all the time. Listen, if you got, if you're saved the best for last stacks, I might have to hit you, dude. Are you obsession? Hey, you're not obsession. Listen, man. Normally, I don't take advantage of people being AFK, but bro, that's stacks. I got knockout though, so like it's all good. I'm gonna leave him there for knockout value. I don't want to hook him because that feels mean. Wait, he's a cheater. Wait, he's a hacker. <gasps> Whoa, that's so neat. He's a hacker. Check him out. Cool, dude. You know, I don't run into this very often. Hey man, how you doing? Is your flashlight gonna like blow me up? <laughs> Is your flashlight gonna like make me explode? <laughs> That'd be really cool if it did. Oh my, oh, does it last forever? Oh no, does this blind last forever? <laughs> wait, it went away. Wait, what's happening? Wait, 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 this is so much better. This is so much better than random perks. Holy shit, this is like a million times better. Is it weird to me that I actually like, I like weirdly almost like, enjoy this kind of thing it's like really odd but it, it's kind of funny to me like it's funny to see it just it makes me laugh you know as someone who doesn't really give a shit about winning is he just screaming non-stop <laughs> bro what the fuck <laughs> holy shit are you okay oh whoa sick sick jumps dude sick parkour Dude, this guy is cracked. Come here, man. Come here. I can totally catch him. Listen, with all my all my hours in this game, come on. I can totally beat this guy, right? Oh, he was in the locker. I wonder like what like 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 what all can they do, you know? I see stuff like this and I'm like, what are they capable of? He just hooked himself and then unhooked himself? Where's this light coming from? What is happening? What where where? Dude, is your flash? <laughs> what? What is this? Where is he flashlighting from? Um, what the fuck? Hey, he's hooked again. Nice. Hi. Can you like? Can you heal her instantly, or can you only heal yourself instantly? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> this is some wild shit. I gotta say. Whoa. Look at how slow this stun is! <laughs> what? What is this stun right now? <laughs> look, he's like throwing a thousand pebbles. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> this is actually killing me, dude. I'm dying. Oh god, what's he doing? I think he's behind me now. Oh god, is he behind me? What's he doing back there? Oh, Jesus. Hurry up and recover from this sun. I'm not sure what's happening back there. Oh, come no, oh, don't. Don't be that. Oh, come on, man. I like seeing. I like having eyesight. Come on, dude. Come on now. Come back to me. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's just chucking pebbles out of the locker. <laughs> Bro, holy shit. Oh, my God. Oh, oh Jesus. That stun finally recovered. I can't wait to go back to this video and like see how long that stun was. That was like a 30 second stun or some shit. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> huh. What do we do from here? I'm not really sure like like where like where do we go from here? Show me some more cool stuff. What else can you do? Oh, not this again. No, this isn't cool at all. I wanted to see more cool stuff. This isn't cool. Hey man, I like your shoes. You got like some Converse on? I dig them. I used to use I used to wear Converse when I was a kid, man, you know? I used to like them. I used to thought they made me so cool. It was like, bro, look, look at my Chuck Taylors, bro. That was me and that was me when I was young. Is that like who you are, Dwight? I dig it. I dig it, man. Hmm. It's kind of just staring into my soul now. Yeah, that's me. That's me in the middle of a 30 second stun, yeah. I gotta say, I was having fun with most of the stuff this guy was doing, but this stun is fucking horrible. Holy shit, this is bad. This is such a bad stun. That is crazy. Everything else he was doing was pretty funny, but my god. That is brutal. That's gotta be 30 seconds, right? God damn. Okay, okay we're still moving the camera. Alright, okay. All right, all right, we're almost done. We're almost done. We're almost done. We're almost done. Okay. And perfect. <laughs> What's he doing now? Oh God, what do you think he's doing? What do you think he's gonna do? He's gonna do something. What do you think he's gonna do? Hmm. I guess that's what he's gonna do. He's just gonna walk into the locker. <laughs> Wait, let me check the locker ones. Wait, it actually pulls him out? Wait, what? I didn't think it would actually pull him out. I didn't think he was actually in the locker. The fuck? Get up, dude. Get back up. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, what do we do now? I mean, I there's... <laughs> bye. Bye! I guess bye. I was gonna say, there's no way I can kill this guy. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my! Oh my! Stop it! Oh my god! That's terrifying! Jesus fucking Christ! This is like a this game is truly a horror game. What the fuck is this monster? Jesus! This is scarier than any horror game I've ever played in my life. Oh my! Oh my god! He's through the window. He's gone. He went through the window. Okay. Ooh, he flew away like a bat. Yeah, I think he's Dracula. He turned into a bat and flew away just like Dracula. Thank God. That was horrifying. Where do you think he went? Where do you think he went? I think he's a bat now. I think he turned into a bat and flew. Maybe that's what that was. Maybe him making all those weird contortions. Maybe that was him transforming into a bat. Oh, hey. Welcome back. <laughs> he's fucking thooming, dude. He's thooming. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. FYI, I'm not I'm not sure if I'm like supposed to be mad about this or not, right? Like obviously I don't condone hacking, but like at the same time, if I'm gonna run into a hacker in one of my games, I'm, I'm gonna have some fun with it. You know what I mean? I'm not just gonna I'm not just gonna be like, oh my god, this guy's cheating. Man, especially when he's not even like, I don't know, he's just not doing anything. He's just kind of fucking around and memeing, you know what I mean? Okay, what's going on up here? Are we just doing gens? So I don't know if this is like how I'm supposed to be reacting or not, but this is just, you know, this is kind of how- Oh, hey! Can you like insta-do this gen? Is that possible for you to do? Can you like do some wizard shit and make that pop instantly? Is that possible? Oh my god. Look at all the people. I I'm afraid that something crazy is gonna happen. Oh, gee. Yeah, well, there you go. Yeah, that's that's all brand new parts for you, basically. Touche. Touche. I, I was I, at this point I was I was pretty much convinced that the fucking generator was gonna like sprout arms and like fucking become like a Dwight generator or some shit. Oh that's right, I forgot I have Eerie King. I was wondering why she had a red light. Wait, where'd Dwight go? Where'd Dwight go? Is he gone? Huh. Interesting. Oh my god! Holy <laughs> Easy door, dude! Easy door! Oh shit, that's that's pretty crazy. That's that's fucking amazing. Okay, everyone out, everyone out. We had our fun. We had our fun. Everybody out. Everybody out. Out, out, out. Get go. Get go. Get get on scram. Jesus. Holy hell. Get go. Get out of here. Get scram. Scram boozle. Scram biggity bamboozle. No, I said scram biggity bamboozle. 
I said the scram boozle. Scram biggity with the big bam bam boozle. Get out of here. Get. Get on. Get on. Get. Is he healing them? Oh, he's healing them from over there. <laughs> oh, he's healing them. I see. He's, he's hitting them with the old long distance heal. <laughs> what the fuck? Stay down. Stop it, Dwight. Stop it. Let him just let him die. Dwight, god damn it. This is impossible. <laughs> this fucking that that Cheryl was like, dude, I've had enough. I've had enough. I'm out of here. Whoa. I don't even I, the legit that last hit was not even his cheats. That was just DBD auto him. You know, sometimes you don't know whether it's cheats or whether it's just the game. Interesting stuff. Does this guy have any last last minute tricks before we leave? We got like another minute before this game ends completely. Do you, do you have any like last minute tricks? Is there, is there any like final things? Are you gonna like, I don't know, make, like make all the hooks fucking explode or something? Like is, is something crazy gonna happen? Or are you just gonna leave? I mean, honestly, I, I, I had a pretty good time. Dude, infinite stacks, baby. Nice. It's just like 2016 DVD all over again. I like it. I dig it. It's just like 2016, baby. Well, that was an experience. My lord. Okay, well, as uh, interesting as an experience as that was, I went ahead and reported the guy because, like, you know, look, I have fun when it comes to people like that in my games because I don't really give a shit about, like, winning or losing. But, like, if a killer who is actually trying to, like, climb ranks and, like, actually, like, cares about their performance goes against that dude, they're probably going to end up not having a fun time with it, and they're probably going to be miserable. So I went ahead and reported that guy, and, um, you know, we'll probably try to make sure he gets banned. But I, for the sake of this video, am going to do this build again because clearly that game was not an actual match. And I actually do want to try this build. This is a really interesting, like, looking build. So I definitely don't want to just call that the game and then end the video. So I'll just do a whole other game and let's try it for real this time. So let's go. Okay, let's try this build out for real, for real this time on Wreckers Yard. So uh, let's do this. I actually didn't look at the lobby. I, I, I alt tabbed while I was while I was booting up. I was kind of worried that he might have been in my lobby again, but we are good. We are Gucci. Everything is A-OK. -okay. Um, this map feels like it might actually be kind of good for this build too, because Blood Echo, it's like a kind of smaller map, but everything's kind of tight knit. So Blood Echo might actually block like a significant number of things. Maybe? Possibly? I don't know. In my head, it sounds like that might be a possibility. Blood Echo activated, baby. Wanna throw that pallet? I don't think so. I think that's the only one that's blocked, though. Here's why Blood Echo sucks. Cause like, yeah, he can't throw that pallet, but look at this. He can still make it elsewhere. Like you basically need Save the Best for Last with it. And even with Save the Best for Last, like even if I had eight stacks, he probably still would have made this anyway, you know? I didn't. I literally didn't even shock there. I don't know. I, I kind of forgot I was playing Doctor and just chased them and didn't even bother using shock, which is kind of weird. I probably should have, but you know what? Let's not talk about it. It's okay. It's okay. We got the job done, so it's fine. And we even got two stacks to save the best for last, baby. Let's go. Damn, that, that happened fast. That was a fast fucking gen. Okay, we also have Calm 1, which is like, okay. Um... The, 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 the secondary part of it's kind of, un, it's kind of pointless because we have Eerie King. Are you obsession or no? You're not. Okay. But like the main part of it, which is like the, uh, <laughs> you threw it on the other side. You're insane. Wow. I thought she was going to like run up and throw it the other way, but she didn't. She's actually a God. Anyway, we basically have a bigger terror radius while our shock therapy is up and then a smaller radius while it's down, which is pretty nice. So that's a nice little, a, 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 a nice little benefit to have. She didn't even vault. Okay. Interesting. What, are, what is your plan here, dude? What's your plan? Is that your plan? Because that was a pretty horrible plan, I gotta say. That plan was not very good. Okay, back up here. She's vaulting. And she's vaulting. And she's vault. What the hell? What was that sound? Does that make a, f a weird sound when you vault that now? She like landed in like the little trash pile and it sounded like... I don't know. I guess it sounded like a trash pile. I just didn't. I guess I didn't expect such realistic sounds from from Dead by Daylight. I mean, like, it, it, once I said it out loud, I was like, "Wait, that's that's how it's supposed to sound." It sounded like it, it sounded like a trash pile. Of course, it's a trash pile. But in my head, it like, I don't know. It, it, it just it didn't seem like it should have sounded that way. I don't ever expect DVD to sound that good. Hey, are one of you guys the obsession? Are you the obsession? No. Perfect. Let's get even more fatty stacks, baby. No pallet? There's a pallet? Nope, not a pallet right there. Just kidding. Just kidding. Edward? 
Oh, you're dead hardened. Oh, yeah. You're, you're not going anywhere, but you're definitely dead hardened. All right. Perfecto. I'm honestly surprised the Blood Warden is still up. That's my obsession. That's my obsession. If that guy can... Damn, I was hoping he would unhook. So that way he would be exposed, but he's not. He didn't. Well, the dude that is exposed just got healed, though. So maybe it's not so bad after all. I'll leave my obsession alone. They can go ahead and do their thing. And then I'm going to come back over my meow. And see if we can find a meow. Right? We hooked right, right here, didn't we? Somewhere. They healed. Is it back here? Where did I hook this guy? There is a hook here. You. You. You are the one I want. See, and now we have knockout and save the best for last. So this, so we can select this guy with knockout. Maybe chase this guy. See, like, this might be kind of valuable. That guy's now going to be sitting in that corner for maybe a long time. Possibly a long time. Like, he might be sitting there for a while. Ideally, he would be sitting there for a while. Um, There's other people around here somewhere, too. Yeah, right here. This guy's obsession. I don't really want to hit him, dude. I don't really want to, like... I, th this is why I don't run save the, save the best for last on killers that aren't like demo and pig because I never really know what to do with my obsession Do I just leave him alone all game? Like do I literally just leave him alone and never chase him? I'm really not sure Like do I do I eventually just give up stacks like right there? Like should I have chased him and gave up stacks? I can't really hook him because he, he might have DS I mean, I guess I could just pick him up and eat the DS and then change the obsession You know, I guess I could do that hypothetically. Oh, hey, you guys found him. Congrats. But I kind of just want to keep chasing the non-obsessions, you know? I think that sounds like it would be a better plan to me, I think. That was way too late. Yeah, she, she, she already queued up the vault. I did that way too late. I kind of forgot what I was doing for a second there. And, like, didn't even, like, shock in time. Okay. Oh, there's a pallet here, too. That's such a bummer. Well, <laughs> you played that pretty badly. I'm going to hook this guy while they're probably trying to find the first guy. I wonder, if, I wonder if her screaming is going to help them find her. Is that a thing? Like, is her screaming going to help them, like... Is that going to, like, make sounds that they'll be like, Just keep screaming! Keep screaming, Charlie! We're looking for you! We're looking for you, Charlie! Just keep yelling! And then eventually they find their way. Come on, Charlie! Keep yelling! I'm just going to... I'm just going to hook her. They're going to get the unhook. Someone's going to get make your choice. Not sure who it is, but someone's got make your choice. And yeah, honestly, this build seems okay. Look, look at all these doctors, dude. Look at all these illusion doctors. Jesus, dude, they're everywhere. Hello, friend. That probably wasn't the wisest move. This doctor was looking... If you guys don't know, by the way, the doctors spawn in looking directly at survivors. Like, they, 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 they're looking directly at people, and they're usually... I don't know, maybe like four meters away. They're usually like about four meters away from the survivor looking directly at them. That is always a thing. So if you see, like for instance, this illusion, there was a survivor right there. Hi. That's always a thing. So keep that in mind. If you're playing doctor and you have any add-on that does that, it helps you a ton with tracking. They found that guy pretty quick considering knockout. I wonder if these guys have perks or like if they're in comms. Knockout is like one of the few perks that I think actually does get cucked by, by comms a lot. I'm not usually the type of, of person that like, I'm actually, I actually have like a quite a big hot take on DVD, which is basically that comms aren't that big of a deal. And I think people blame comms for things a lot when comms sometimes aren't even the problem. Like people like to blame comms for like everything in this game. Like, oh no, I'm getting looped for five gens. Oh, goddamn comms, you know? People seem to like to do that a lot in this game. And I'm like the opposite where I think comms don't add too much to this game. But I think knockout is definitely one of the things that does get su supremely cucked by comms. Like supremely cucked, not even just a little bit cucked, like omega cucked. Like it, it gets, it gets, it gets slaughtered by cons. Same thing with like killers like Trapper, you know, get cuckooed pretty hard. I'm just gonna ditch stacks. It's time. It's time. Oh, maybe it's not time. Maybe that was a sign. Do you guys think that was a sign? What the fuck? That was like the laggiest pallet, pallet kick ever. Do you think that was a sign? The fact that I didn't hit her just now, maybe that was a well. Maybe this is also a sign. Like, if me not hitting her was a sign, then I, I guess I would consider that a sign, too. A sign that I fucking suck! You have dead hard? Please don't have dead hard. Poggers! No dead hard confirmed. 
I was going to say, we have Maker Choice active, so we maybe could have just, like, left him alone and then got the Maker Choice guy, but that would also require us to find the Maker Choice guy. We didn't have Static Blast, so we would have had to look all around and, like, uh, blah, 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 you know? And, like, that's lame, you know? Why do I feel like he might be, like, in a locker, though? Hypothetically, what if? Hoopla! All right, I had to try. I had to try. They must have ran off. Hey, there he is. The Maker Choice just ran, just wore off, but we found him anyway. That's the same scratch marks, right? Yeah, same scratch marks. We're good. We're okay. Honestly, this build seems kind of kind of good, to be honest with you. Like, again, I, this probably isn't a build I would run normally, but like considering random perks, this is a fucking good build. Compared to some of the builds I like, get doing, doing these random perks, some of them are like completely atrocious. Like literally no synergy whatsoever, just a bunch of random perks that are all trash, all thrown together. This, like, I mean, I think having the, like, random spot to, that, that I can put, and I can put any perk in its place where I can throw Save the Best for Last, I think that helps a lot, too. Because I think this build without Save the Best for Last would be significantly less good. Yeah, Blood Favor, by the way. You couldn't even, even if you got in there in time, you still wouldn't be able to do it, buddy. Blood Favor. Get Blood Favored. You know what? Would Blood Favor cuck over, uh, that would probably fuck over Power Struggle, wouldn't it? Imagine if you imagine if someone's out of pallet with power struggle and then you get blood favor to activate. Wouldn't that be some shit? Wouldn't that be wild? All right, let's get this 4K real quick. This guy might DS me, and on top of that, we can easily just get the 4K if we chase here. So, I'm just gonna shock, get this guy 4K. I'm dead hard, dead hard, dead, dead hard, Robert. Auto aim, please. Why are you like this, auto aim? Why are you this way, auto aim? Well, hey, there we go. Not too bad, you know? Turns out that when I don't play against a hacker, we seem to do pretty okay. Nice. Nice. We'll wrap this one up to a GG, and we'll go to the end of the game screen. Let's go. Funnily enough, I said, like, oh, hey, we'll wrap this one up to a, a, a GG. We won. And then this last dude crawled the hatch. <laughs> he crawled the hatch, <laughs> so he got out. He had a key, too. Shit, so he might have got hatch regard. Well, actually, no, I had him down. By the way, either way, regardless, um... Much better game than before. We could actually count this one as a real game. I'll say GG in case any of these guys happen to be on Windows Store, but probably not. Uh, GG's, and it was fun. All right, boys, that's going to be it for this random perk video. This was uh, quite the eventful video, I got to say. I got to say, quite eventful. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, if you guys liked it, feel free to leave it a like. Uh, also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, because I'm uploading literally daily. And I'm also live on Twitch six nights a week over at twitch.tv slash otofu. So feel free to stop by and say hello sometime. I'm there very, very often. So feel free to stop by and say hello and come hang out sometime. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your night. I'm out of here. See ya. Take care. See ya. I'm out of here. See ya. Uh, see ya later. See ya.